All right, the other day I did a video uh, putting, taking apart a DOD FX69 grunge pedal. And I did, I took it all the way completely apart. It's just completely flopped into a pile. These are all the pieces. Now I'm gonna see, without any instruction, if I can not get super frustrated and put it all back together. Oh my God, I'm dreading doing this just cause it's no fun. I'll do it anyway. Let's see here. So this here uh, popped out of one of these holes. Oh darn, this whole piece is flopping all over the place. And there's this piece right here got disconnected from that there. Let's uh, figure out where this even connected to. I already lost a cable connection that connects to the battery and now I'm just completely discombobulated as to where this even goes to get us some power. Now we're gonna have to solder it back together to fix it or we're not gonna have anything going on in this thing at all. It was a working pedal and now it is a non-working pedal. What does everybody think about that? Darn. I really think that it probably was connected right here. Only because it's the only one that looks like it is disconnected. I'm gonna have to get out some more tools before I put this thing back together. All right, stand by. All right, we're at the soldering iron station. The soldering iron. And we're going to try see if we can just fix this little tiny yellow wire that got disconnected and by connecting it to right here what we need to do is we need to heat up the solder and reattach so we're going to get this nice and well and do some disconnected and see if it really works It's probably getting more solder for the ones that we have seen. We need just the tiniest little bit of this to jiggle. It's a jiggle of solder. And that's it. All connected. Whoever buys that is gonna be super stoked that they have this amazing solder joint right there that probably will fall apart soon. Or not. It looks like good enough for me. Back to the original video. Let's put it back together. Now that we've soldered this piece back, we're all connected. We're gonna have a lovely time. So the first thing I wanna do is try not to disconnect it again, but I want to get these little tiny bolts bolted down right here. Cause they're just not quite connected. We need a little bit of extra love. We need this tool for it. Yep, there we go. Put the connection there. Let's hold them on. I'm gonna get myself a little tool to connect it. Let's grab those little bolts on the inside and connect them up. There's 
one that's starting to go. So this doesn't fall off. Let's do the bottom one. There's a little bolt right there. Go grab it. Don't have to tighten it all the way down because I think it just has a spring. Gives it a little extra pressurized connection. And now we gotta connect the uh, the foot switch piece to it, which is right here. Mm -hmm. Wild adventure. Oh yeah, let's connect this right here. to the thing. Everyone can laugh at the struggle. It should go click, 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 click. Yep. And then this piece needs to get these wires out of the way. Right into here. Yep, right into there with this little tiny rubby piece holding it in place so that it fits. That one doesn't want to go in there because it's in a very strange location. So maybe we'll turn it around, see if it wants to work better than like that. Maybe it goes like that. Oh, there we go. That's that's the spot right there. That's the sweetness. So we'll put the little nut back on so that we've got ourselves a lovely connection. Right there. Hex nut. Where are you at? There you are. We can tighten it all down at the end, but we'll just get it on there. And then we'll get the other side. We need one of those brushes. And then we need another hex CD screw screw. All right, and then we need ourselves this little piece that's under here somewhere. This little guy goes in here. And that's a very good component. Little component for the power that we already soldered back together. Theoretically, everything should be connected there properly. Does this have a washer? I don't think it did. We'll find a washer later and be sad about it, but put it on for now. Tighten yourself in. Tighten up. Oh, you ain't done running wild. Baby child. Uh, the battery box goes down in here. This foam piece goes right in here, so there's no, no connection to the, to the piece. This stuff all goes on top like this, but this piece connects right here to the bottom so we can get to the battery. The little battery box actually goes on top that this this can go through here the little battery piece wants to just go on top like that so these can just fit right through the holes all right holes let's go right through the holes holes mm -hmm. 
Oh, forgetting a step. All of these pieces here need a little washer. 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 Very important connection right there. Make sure that all of these have themselves for little washers. All of those little LEDs are connected. And this goes in right there. Right there. This is in the way, bothering everybody. So let's leave it over there. And we'll connect ourselves inside. Woohoo! Like a glove. It just slides right in place like that. And this piece should fit just like so. Kind of a tight fit. That's perfect. We're getting so close, everyone. We'll get over here and reconnect these little knobs. Put on the washers and the little pieces here. Another washer. I can't wait to get the face and the butt and the loud back on. It's going to be good. It's going to be back to life. Repair completed, pedal satisfyingly connected. I'll make sure to go get a guitar cable and a battery, and we'll see what she sounds like a little bit later. Uh, all right, well, this is the part that always gets to me or us or anybody, is that there's a piece missing. We found it. It's a little washer. A washer. It's little baby hexy nuts. Come on, Grunge. You can do it. I know you can. Now we want to turn it over the right way so it has a connection that's solid. Mm, there we go. All the hexy nuts are connected. Looks tasty. All right, we'll tighten those up with my little tiny tool tightener. That's not the right tool for the job, but we'll do it anyway. Try not to scratch it. Um, uh, this is not the right way to do anything, but sometimes if you want to do something, you just have to take it apart and do it. Uh, see, look, I'm at eight minutes in my video, um, and taking it apart took longer than putting it back together. Well, I think by the end, it's gonna be a little bit in the opposite direction. Once it always tightened up, properly connected, plus once I test it. You will never be able to tell if you ever open this little tiny pedal up. Or will you? I'm sure most human beings will be able to tell. No problem. Because it doesn't matter anyway. I keep humming that bluey song. It's just gonna keep watching it. It's what a good parent am I, just letting your child zone down on TV for a few minutes. Nobody else ever does that, right? We're so close to being done. Serial number 762840. Are you old? I'm gonna have to look these up on reverb and see how much they're going for. Because I bought it for $10. I'm gonna get a, a profit on this bad thing. I'm gonna like, unleash it to the world after this viral video explodes and billions of people everywhere all decide that they need it. All right, we'll turn all the pedals down to the lowest volume. Try to make them equal. Uh. 
put the battery cover back on. We'll go get a battery and we'll make sure she works. We'll plug it in. Oops, that's our down. Oh, something's already wrong. No connection. Battery box must be installed upside down or incorrectly. We don't have any connection here. We missed up something. Oh, just a, big, a kind of a tough snap. All right, folks. Let's try it out. Give me one second, I'll come back. All right, I think I left that video playing. That's okay. Um, I'll come back to it now. We'll put in a boot battery. We'll do it all together so that we can make sure that it sounds right from the beginning. Nice. And my awesome Boss Waza amp. Let me see, I think it's in the video. We'll be in the background here. Getting connected to this pedal. Let's see if it works. Oh, we got light. The first part, where's the guitar? All right, plug in guitar, turn on amp, grab pick. Turn on button. What's up? You don't like that sound? I don't want 
Okay, I guess I'll turn it off. My kiddo doesn't like it. But it works! Yay! Thanks for this video.